Hey guys, what's up? So I'm sitting in here in my driveway with the engine on. Got the air conditioner going because it's kind of hot out. Um, but wanted to go over what I think is the best tuner for the 5.9 Cummins. Um, specifically, we're talking about the third gen. Uh, so uh, we're talking about the O3s to the O7s. Um, you have several different options for tuning for that generation of truck. The, uh, the cheapest option is HP tuners. Uh, that comes in, I think it's around 350 bucks uh, out the door. You get the MPVI2, which uh, plugs into your OBD port. And uh, that in turn plugs into your laptop. So you can either tune your truck yourself or you can uh, hire a custom tuner to provide you the tuning file. Uh, sometimes they'll send those files open. Some tuners actually do it via TeamViewer. They'll actually log into your computer and tune the uh, truck uh, straight over TeamViewer. Uh, tuners like me that deal in proprietary uh, parameters, we will send the, the file locked so you can't actually open it. The only thing you can do is just uh, load it onto your truck. But if you're looking for a no frills, um, just down and dirty, basic tuning platform, uh, no uh, display or anything like that. You just want to plug it in, get your truck tuned, and get rid of the, all the, the bling. You just want a, a stock looking truck, then HP Tuners is uh, probably right for you. The next option uh, is the Edge CTS2 Pro. Uh, the, I believe it's the 86 100 model. I don't remember, 80, 86,000 and 86,100, I believe, are the, the models that can take custom tuning. Uh, and that's also, uh, I know it's an Edge product, but the custom tuning comes from HP tuners. Uh, so if you pay for custom tuning to get put onto that uh, CTS2 Pro, it's going to be written in HP tuners. Um, the downside of that is you have to pay for the, uh, the CTS2 Pro, which... Uh, you know, it's, I think it's around 500 bucks and then you gotta pay for also the uh, custom tuning that goes on it. Um, so there's a VIN license fee that you have to pay for and then um, whatever your custom tuner is gonna charge. And it can hold up to four different tunes, um, which is, it's kind of a downfall of the CTS2 Pro uh, that it doesn't hold a lot of tunes and they also won't be able to change on the fly. <clears throat> now, uh, Another downfall that I've seen with the CTS2 Pros, I've had a couple of customers who have had to um, get their ECM reflashed at the dealership or send it into Edge to get it reflashed back to stock because of a failed flash. Uh, <clears throat> most typically the failed flash is caused by battery problems. It's not a knock on the Edge product. Um, it's usually an electrical issue with the truck that causes a failed flash. Uh, that being said, uh, what I think is the best tuning platform for the third gen trucks is the MM3 tuner by Smarty. Um, the reason that I believe it's the best is because it's, uh, it's the lowest cost for what you get. Uh, basically on the 04 and a half and up models, you get on the fly tuning, uh, you get a display screen. So this is actually that's a Smarty Touch, but it's identical hardware. That's the same screen that you'd get with an MM3. Um, you also get, uh, like I said, the on-the-fly tuning. So it's not, um, it's not like other on-the-fly tuning, which is a switch that has resistors in it, and basically you're tricking out the uh, intake air temperature uh, sensors. Um, this on-the-fly tuning that comes from the MM3 goes directly over the CAN bus for these trucks. And I know you're saying that, you know, these trucks are SCI protocol trucks. They don't use CAN bus. Well, there actually is CAN bus that goes straight into the ECM. It's just not used to communicate uh, with the different modules in the truck, like the ABS module or the uh, airbag module or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> so another uh, great benefit on the MM3 is failed flash recovery. So on the CTS2 Pro, I was talking about the customers I had that had uh, failed flashes and basically um, bricked their truck. Their truck was dead until they were able to either tow it somewhere and get it reflashed, or they had to um, 
they had to uh, send their ECM off to Edge to get that reflashed. So the MM3 and the Smarty Touch is in the same boat as this. Um, the MM3 and the Smarty Touch will uh, recover back to stock automatically. It'll detect a failed flash when it comes back up and no matter how many uh, tries it takes it'll keep trying to put the the stock flash back on there until it actually takes uh, so i've had customers who have had electrical issues and they went ahead and tried to flash anyway and it's taken them a couple hours um, but the mm3 just kept trying and kept trying and kept trying and finally was able to to get it to take the stock flash so that basically saved that customer um, a, a tow trip to the dealer to get his truck flashed back to stock. So the MM3 really, it's not that much more expensive than the other tuning options. And if the failed flash recovery uh, saves you once, it's paid for itself, in my opinion anyway. I know uh, you're talking about tuning platforms. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that have strong opinions on that. This is just my opinion. Um, and I know you're probably saying, well, you, you run mm3tuning.com, so no no wonder you're uh, you're recommending the mm3 tuner. Actually, when I named my business, it was uh, it was mm3, as in the fueling, like cubic millimeters per stroke. Uh, and then it just turned out that uh, the mm3 tuner was the best hardware uh, for what I was doing. So it was kind of a unintended uh, marriage there. <laughs> but anyway, um, so. The, uh, the MM3, the Smarty Touch, those are the ones that I recommend for our generation trucks. If you don't have one currently, I recommend you go with the MM3 because it comes with uh, the communications module, and that's the module that um, enables on the fly tuning for the 04 and a half through 07 trucks. Um, the Smarty Touch costs a little bit more than the MM3, and that's because you're paying for the S06 tuner uh, tunes in there. The, the canned tunes that come in the handheld tuners also come in the Smarty Touch. That's what you're paying for there. And the Smarty Touch does not come with the, the COM mod that taps into the uh, CAN bus. So if you want to add that later, it costs $209 extra to add that to enable the, um, the on-the-flight tuning. So that's why I recommend if customers don't have a tuning platform, you um, you start off with the MM3 and not the Smarty Touch. Um, if you're going to the MM3 or if you're looking at either one of those for custom tuning, chances are you're never going to run those uh, can tunes that the Smarty Touch comes with anyway. So there's no need in starting off in that direction. Uh, you might as well start off with the MM3, which was specifically designed for custom tuning and uh, avoid the extra cost. And you get the, the additional hardware that enables on the fly tuning included in the original purchase price, which is uh, it's just a better deal all around. Um, there is another option, there's EFI Live. Um, I don't deal any EFI Live just because it doesn't cover all of the years uh, that I work on. I work on the 03 to 07 trucks. EFI Live only covers 06 to 07, and that's when the um, the truck switched over from the SCI uh, uh, protocol to straight CAN bus protocol between all the uh, different modules in the truck. And that's when EFI Live picked it up and uh, put out a product that could tune that, but they never went back and covered the rest of the years. So since they don't cover all the years, I don't, um, I don't use that as a tuning platform. I use, uh, the uh, UDC Pro, which is what you use to, to tune the MM3 and the Smarty Touch tuner and then HP tuners, uh, which is for the MPVI2, which is HP tuners adapter. And then it also is used to tune the CTS2 Pro. So um, in order of uh, precedence, I would suggest MM3 tuner as number one, uh, Smarty Touch if you already have one, if not MM3 tuner, and then the number two position there would be the CTS2 Pro, uh, and then number three position would be HP tuners. One thing I forgot to mention about the um, the tuning platforms, uh, the CTS2 Pro has a much more modern looking interface. Uh, this is the interface that I already showed you um, that you'll get with an MM3 tuner. Uh, the CTS2 Pro looks, like I said, a lot more modern. Uh, it's a lot flashier and it can accept um, a, a lot more external sensors. Uh, I think it can take a backup camera. So 
in terms of added peripherals, uh, the CTS-2 Pro is a better option than the MM3 tuner. Uh, the MM3 tuner, the only external sensor it can take is the EGT probe that was specifically designed for the MM3 slash Smarty Touch. Um, so that is one of the, the areas that the CTS-2 Pro excels over the MM3, but still, in my opinion, the, uh, the ability to recover from a failed flash um, outweighs any of that. So that's just my two cents on, um, on you know, what tuning platform is the best, uh, I believe you know, you're going to get the most bang for your buck out of an MM3 with uh, a third gen truck. So, you know, if any of you guys have different thoughts, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Um, you know, I'd love to hear it. And, uh, and you know, it's, uh, it's almost like talking about a football team or, uh, you know, you know, politics, which these days is obviously a hot topic, but, uh, everybody's got really strong opinions and, you know, I'm, uh, not to knock those, I respect them all. Uh, that's just where I've landed in, you know, my experience with tuning. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share, hit the uh, notify button, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.